plugged in. Mm-hmm. Ready? We're just about. Stand by. There you go. Okay. Cool. Okay. Pledge of allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless, bless, bless you. you. Welcome, everyone. Uh, Tim Patricus and Tim uh, Keeney, Selectman. Mike Marinaccio, Chief Financial Officer, Kim LaFleur, Operations Director. Brian Westerfield, Assistant Finance Director. Todd Rowland, our Department of Public Works Director, and Chief John Roach uh, of our Fire Department. Uh, the first item on the agenda are boards and commissions. I think Kim sent out a list. I just, yeah, I've been hearing from people um, just right up before I walked in here, so. It's <laughs> <laughs> just in. Yeah. So I just kind of wrote yes next to who's willing to serve, and um, you can just go down the list. And I didn't hear from a couple of people, so um, you'll see that on the list as well. So I guess we should go through by various commission, and those people that acknowledge yes uh, vote. Uh, That's what I would do. Yeah, and sounds then, good. And when I hear from them, you could probably do the rest at the next meeting or something like that. Okay, the so the world, I so. guess the first one would be. Uh, Advisory Commission for Seniors, mm -hmm. and the members are listed there. And anyone that haven't responded is Eileen. And uh, we have two. Uh, oh, George Roberts. He hasn't called back yet either. Has he? Sorry. George Roberts. Um, no, he's not up for. Assessment. Only the yeah, high level ones are up for reappointment. So anyway, we have a vacancy on. Uh, no. Nope. There's no vacancy. George That's Roberts even live in this town anymore? Yeah. They, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm yeah. Tim. No, no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it says vacancy director. Well, that would be the person, um, the they senior center like person. Okay. No, that's that's going to be whoever takes over the human services position. So it's either going to be um, the new senior center supervisor, okay. um, or Jillian. Allison Maynard. Um, I'm not sure. Chris okay. is still working on that, um, the logistics of that. So. So we're voting on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nominations. Is that the motion, bud? Yes. <coughs> Before we get to that, I'm just curious about the policy here. Uh, do we ever consider the fact that people are on the board and are not doing a good job? Whether or you just, you just, a, just keep them on even if they want to stay? I mean, what that's always an issue, but we reach out to them and say, do you want to continue to serve? And right. they say yes or no. No. Some it, have said they can't attend meetings, right? But I think like anything else, we'll make the decision here if we feel somebody's not attending. Why waste the position on somebody that's not going to participate? Yeah, well, yeah, participation works both being not at the meeting and being at the meeting and not Cor participating. Well, right. I understand. Yeah. But in the case of those person, those those people, for example, that don't show up or don't participate, yeah. I think we reach out to them and say, listen, you want to continue in this uh, uh, volunteer association or not? And then we make a decision. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not aware of anybody in the first uh, first uh, commission for. Seniors, I know most of these people, they've all been involved mm -hmm. yeah, actively. Mm -hmm. Good to hear. And they do a great job. So. Yeah. So I guess the motion is uh, for the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven who have confirmed their availability. Yes, that I we think Eileen is going to serve. We just have an hour to reach her. <coughs> and how long is that term for the people that we're discussing? Uh, one year. One year? Yeah. It says, it's so if you look to the right, um, next to vacancy and director, it says nine members, one year term. Oh, gotcha. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. <coughs> so we'll reach out to Eileen and. Well, I did. I'm just waiting to hear. Okay. That's all. all right. She could be out of town. Next one is assessment of. Do you want to do you want to do you want to vote oh, on sorry. the do you want to vote on ever on the commission for seniors? There's a motion. Do you want to vote and then move to the next? Well, makes, makes uh, sense to me. Yeah, that way we can do one one board at a time. So the, okay. the motion is to approve the seven members who have said yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, mm -hmm. for a term of one year. I'll make that motion. Okay. I'll second. All okay. No additional discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, the next one is the assessment appeals. Uh, Bud Delvin said he will serve. Mm -hmm. To answer your question, uh, Tim, I think George Roberts. Yes, he does. He's still here, and he's, gonna, he's agreed also. Well, he's his, not his is, he's not up. He's, he's not good until 2021. Okay. So it's just for Bud Devlin for the right. three-year term. So I'll make a rec uh, motion 
to appoint Bud Devlin for an additional three-year term to the assessment appeals. Second. Any additional discussion? There's a vacancy there. Yeah. there's a vacancy there. Any recommendations? Should be a contractor, um, is what I was told when I asked uh, about that. That that third person, they were looking for a contractor, mm -hmm. uh, someone with a contracting background. And I heard a few names floated, but the, I think the assessor would be the one that would make some recommendation or, or, or Bud himself, Devlin. Okay. All right, we'll reach out to both Walter and to sure. uh, Bud Devlin and ask for their recommendations and then we can discuss yep. this at our next meeting. Perfect. Okay. So the next one, um, <laughs> I just, I didn't have an email for these two, so I have to follow up with a phone call, so I apologize. So we have no no I motion for building no, code I'm, for I'm the Board no. of Appeals. Oh, okay. Sorry. <coughs> All right, building code of appeals. We'll pass on that. David Birkenshaw. <coughs> Does that flip that? We haven't responded yet either. I haven't reached out to either of them because I didn't have an email and it just got past me. So, so we're going to pass on that one. Pass. Until next meeting. Yeah. And we'll have to reach. <laughs> Anybody <Sorry. recommends laughs> recommendations for the building code of appeals? Yeah, you have one vacancy. So. Just one or two? Sure. Um, two I s oh, sorry, <coughs> two. I apologize. All right. Well, we ought to get some. Do you have any input, Tim or Tim? Uh, you know, I might I might at our next meeting, but I don't now. Okay. I didn't know about to begin with. The biggest um, problem we had, as I said before, is just the ability to get people to volunteer. And as you indicate, Tim, just to agree to serve and then participate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I think what Tim brought up the last meeting was been practiced in the past is that you do pull the party chairman yeah. Yeah. and ask them, you know, if they have anybody uh, in mind. I know that's been the prior practice. Yeah. Don't know to what extent it's been followed lately. I would agree with that. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah, we know. Well, I'll reach out to both Jeff and to Dave Birkenshaw to see if they have any recommendations. Okay. Okay. Uh, Cemetery. Cemetery Commission. Tim, he's going to serve. <laughs> Bonnie Camega, by the way, is resi resigning. Do you know that? Um, I heard that. I didn't see no, a I had, I had talked she hasn't with, I had talked with Bonnie last night. She will like, would like to resign, but she'll stay on until we find a replacement. Yeah, so she's hanging oh, on. Okay. She's hanging okay. on. And okay. you, you don't need to renew her term. You, we just go from it month to month, and then it would expire. Well, it says here she's, she's not due until next year anyway. Correct. Oh, all right. Well, she's got oh, okay. a year still. I, I haven't got that in front of me. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. And it's okay, Tim, for you to serve on that committee. And it is. Yeah, we did. Great. It is. It's been. I'll make a motion that we uh, reappoint Tim Keeney to the Cemetery Commission. Mm -hmm. David Morgan, I think, is still deciding whether or not he wants to serve. Yeah, that doesn't say yes, so I'm just doing the one. Yeah, he hasn't decided yet. Second. Yourself. I'll recuse myself. I'll second that motion. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Congratulations. <laughs> You'll be getting an email from yeah, me well, uh, <laughs> congratulating we'll, we'll you. We'll see if we come up with some compensation for you, too. So <laughs> maybe a drink. Well, that's what I do, you know? Uh, CIP, there's no change. Conservation. That that's CIP that's is actually appointed is by a, Board of Finance. It's anyway. a subcommittee appointed yeah. by the Board of Finance. Yeah. So. All right, where are we? Conservation Committee. Yeah. Uh, uh, just Joan Formeister at this point? Well, Todd, Todd, um, Todd sent an email, and he's just so very busy that if you have somebody to fill his spot, please do so. Um, if not, he'll serve, but he's never able to attend. So that was his. So that goes to Tim's point of yeah. so I'd, filling I'd a seat with somebody who's not going to be there. Right, exactly. Right. So we can leave it. Um, as a vacancy? Okay, yeah, let's, let's leave it as a vacancy okay. to be fair for everybody else. So okay. I'll make a motion that we reappoint Joan Formeister and uh, open a vacancy for the seat vacated by Tom Whitford. Okay. Todd Whitford, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, any additional discussion? Okay. Any recommendations for filling that vacancy? Uh, I will check. I mean, I, okay. I, if I knew this before the meeting, I could have checked, but. You did send this out, right? Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're just looking for people, again, willing to serve and be active. 
Yeah, she sent out, but we didn't have that information, did we? Oh, no, it was this. It just didn't have yes on it, and it was the same. Yeah, but I didn't get any information as to if you wanted to serve or not, or oh. there was a vacancy, or <coughs> you'd be filled. No, it's the same document. It's just my writing on it. So okay. okay. I don't recall seeing that. Oh, yeah. that's okay. okay. The cultural Commission. The cultural cultural Committee. committee. Uh, they're go-getters. They're all, they're yeah. all in. <laughs> <laughs> I've talked with Gail Tishner, and I've also talked with Pat Picatti. I think they're, they're Well, good. they're not up. They're not up, yeah. yeah. And two vacancies. Yeah. Recommendations. Make a motion to approve one, two, three, four, five, six. Who have said yes? Okay. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Board. We've, uh, I, mean, I mean, again, the, the problem is we, we really don't know to what extent these people are participating either. That's, that's my concern. Yeah, yeah, We're just kind of blankly saying, oh, yeah, they're, they're uh, willing to sort of Usually keep the it feedback going. Is, comes through the chairman, uh, and the chairman yeah. usually talks to either the liaison um, of the committee, which in my case would be a cemetery and or a pension, or, or directly to the first selectman. So that's the I only way I've ever heard of I can tell you, from the cultural committee, all these people I know personally, they've all volunteered to serve, and they will serve, and they have been active. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, okay. I mean, I know Catherine they, Worcester, there was an issue about her on the library board not participating much. I mean, that's just, that's yeah. a, I don't know about that. I have no idea what she's doing here. But no, somebody's have preference, I guess, I, to one committee or the other. to their you know. chairman. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is worth mentioning. Yep. Okay. Economic development. Um, so Pam, yes. Make a motion to Pam Ball. I'll be approved as uh, Economic Development Commissioner. Second. Any additional discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So James O'Hearn. Um, he did mention in his email that he is, is Dave, like Excuse me, is Dave Marty still oh, going to stay on? No, uh, Dave said he so we need to, want to serve. So we need to find somebody else. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we would need a written re resignation from that, him yeah, since his term is up to 2023. Right, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. I just saw him today. <laughs> he, was, he was elected to the library board, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. He was. Yeah. Plus he chairs Rotary and... He does yeah. a lot. Lots of things. Yeah, he's one. Yeah. Who's field. who's the chairman of economic development now? Um, Vicky I think Clark. it's Vicky. Yeah, Vicky yeah. Clark, right? I think so. Yeah. And is Vicky okay with James O'Hearn becoming a full member? Do we know? I haven't asked, so I can do that. And um, I don't know to what extent he's participated either. So. Well, that's why I'd, I'd defer to Vicky yeah. if she if she wants to appoint him as a full member. I'd, I'd yeah, bring that up at the next her. meeting. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So just that one. Our emergency management oh, director. You've got down here uh, Board of Ed. Well, this is Absolutely. just. Yeah, this is an old list. Well, no, there. Ann, Ann kind of maintains this list, and she just keeps the terms on here of any elected official as well. So. But Barbara, Barbara Capuano was moved out of town. Correct. This is this is that updated, but it's we have the you know. I wouldn't worry about the elected yeah, stuff. Yeah, okay, so we're, we're covered with that. Yeah, the don't, no worries okay. there. We take care of that. I'll get you a better one. Okay, no great. <coughs> Emergency Management Director will be going out for... Uh, we're going to be posting that posting position. That position. Jeff Ford is serving properly as a Signal Director, so we'll be sure that short term. We're hoping next week to get that out yeah. for a part-time position. Um, Ethics, only one vacancy on emergency preparation. Todd, do you think how many might have Three bucks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think about it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, he goes <laughs> he participates. And Who, oh, who is that that participated oh, in terms of ethics? Can I chime in here? Uh, Just for one second. Oh, okay. What about um, Mr. Kennedy? Um, he wants to participate in boards and commission. He works for you. Yep. Would he be a suitable person to be on that commission? In fact, I would just have to take his work schedule. It's okay. For meetings or okay. Time, I know so. he's shown some interest in, you know, serving on a committee. But, so. Okay. Yes. Ethics. Uh, I've only heard that. Yeah, William Shapiro. Too. He's already sent. Yeah. All of those an alternative. So, so no contact with. Pat I Kennedy or Bill no, McGurk? I haven't heard back from them yet. 
that I've heard back from Jennifer and um, Joel. I can make and a motion to accept the uh, nominations of uh, Jennifer Grieger and Joel Emlin for the Ethics Commission. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> You're showing that is that term expires on 12 22 19. Yeah, well, it'll be uh, what is it, one year, two year term, so it'll be 2021. 20, so, so, we'll make a motion that we appoint William Shapiro for the Ethics Commission alternate for a two year term. Yeah, okay. second. second. All in favor, aye. 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 Board, that's elected mm -hmm. our commission. Housing Authority. Make a motion that we appoint Terry Schmidt for a five year term. Five year term. Second. All in favor? Aye. Now we've been yeah, trying to get some. That's, that's a tough one to fill for some reason. Pardon me? That's a tough one to fill for some reason. How often do they meet, do you know? Oh, God. Um, I don't know. I would assume monthly. Um, I mean, some of commission meets quarterly, I think, for instance. I don't know that answer, cemeteries but I can get that now. answer for you. Well, I know they're picking it up this month. Yeah, it's every other month. month. Okay, yeah. every month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It used to be quarterly, yeah. <laughs> I've reached out to two people, but they said no. I'm sorry. How does anyone have a seat? I know housing was having a problem even making a quorum recently, so. Yeah, well, were. that's, yeah. But yeah. They, they did get somebody in there. Terry, yeah. yeah. That's up in 20. Jillian. Oh, yeah, Deanna's vote. Huh? State. Yeah, probably Jillian. Yeah. Um, municipal agent for the elderly. Oh, I'm came so sorry. on page three or four, I think. Okay. Oh, I know. Oh, not right here. Oh, so, okay. does Deanna. So, that would be Deanna. Allison Maynard. Yeah. That's who Allison Maynard. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. I apologize. Oh, no, it should be. It should be your, your director of social yeah. services, I believe, by not just the well, senior yeah. center person. No, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the other. Which so that Jillian would be Allison name? then. Yeah. Jillian Connors, is that her last name? That Jillian is the senior center last supervisor. Name? Connors. Connors. Yeah. Uh, yeah you were saying, Mike, that uh, by state statute it has to be the director. The, the agent has to be like the director, I believe, of social services. Yeah. Well, and because be in the past that, that was a jointly held title, like okay. with Deanna, yeah. she got be, advice. That before. would be Allison Maynard. Yeah. yeah. So we don't need to vote on that because it's set by state statute? Yeah. 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 Confirm that with Alice. <coughs> well, it does have expiration date, so I would, but it doesn't do that. So I guess until she's okay, door as long as she's here. So the coast okay. is here, okay. just shove itself. What's the North Central Tourism Board? Is that <laughs> still active? I, I, don't, I don't believe so. So, yeah, um, I, I, um, I got a call from them. It doesn't have to be actually a person that lives in town, so and they kind of wanted me to do it. Yeah, I thought, thought I no, recommended you. Huh? I, I think I recommended you. Yeah, she did. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's, uh, well, yeah, I'd be happy to do <coughs> that, so. Okay, so we should vote you in or take a discussion of whether or not we want you in this position. Okay. It's um, not, a, I mean, I'm already kind of doing what they, you know, they kind of do in that whole scheme of things of, you know, marketing your town and um, yeah. it's usually uh, the chairman of economic development. However, it's just, I think she has a lot on her plate too. Yeah. Can't ask okay. How active has it been though? Have, it hasn't gotten any money from the state for a long time. No, so they don't. And I asked him that, Mike, so do I get money to do stuff? And then he goes, no. And I'm like, well, <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> what do you mean? Then what are you doing? He goes, oh, we get together, we have dinner and we do this and we <laughs> talk. And I'm like, and no, but you get great. ideas <laughs> and how to, you know, you know, get so money and you know, raise money. He's and never done that. I mean, I so I, I don't know. So I don't know how. Well, so I'll check it out. I'll not, let you it's know. It's not in your so charter, and it's not in the uh, ordinances. It's it gets you thrown in there. Some committee twenty that years that ago. Exists. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's I remember, all I remember when it got started. So. It was about twenty years ago. Yeah. So it's just one of those. And we want to have Kim as a uh, <laughs> recommended uh, north. Go to Summers. 
<laughs> oh, I favor I here. <laughs> well, actually, this doesn't need, require a um, board of selectmen vote, so that's okay. also what I was told. So. Yeah, you're appointed. Whatever. Yes. Great. Good. Go to some rooms. Can you open space? Open space. <coughs> okay. Trails. So, yeah, this Make a motion that we approve the four. Well, actually, there's more. So I, I just. Oh, um, there's more that it yeah, said yes. Yeah, I guess um, oh, Todd nice. had okay. went to the meeting. So there'll be um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who else? Eight. Who are we had? And Todd well, has that list okay. right there. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Todd. <laughs> thank you. Oh, great. Yeah. Thanks, well, Todd. Somebody gave me a list there. Yeah, so everybody. So we've got several vacancies on there. Yeah. And uh, Andy Phillips resigned. Effective uh, November 21st, he was our scouting um, Prime representative. Representative. Mm -hmm. As a point of uh, order, we have another person interested from the scouts, the Girl Scouts. Joan Sears has written a letter and expressed interest in serving. And uh, Ann Moses, our chair, uh, wrote a quick email saying she's in support of uh, Joan serving on the board. Okay. And I see no reason why we couldn't appoint her, or well, any reason not to, as we have so many vacancies. And, um, we've had difficulty getting a quorum uh, with so many voting vacancies. So you'll have two, two vacancies three. left at the time, right? After that Correct. Four. Well, two voting vacancies and one non voting. Uh, <coughs> the board was <coughs> constituted just 14 members. Six. Three are non voting and 11 are voting. We need six for a quorum every meeting. What's that mean? Is that an all? Alternate, alternate, the non -voting. No, they're just non-voting members. I mean, like Dom is a, not a, a town resident. I'm not oh, I see. On a, okay. Um, Are any of these members non-participants? I mean, I'm just. No, they, we're actually a pretty active board. We do all the trail maintenance, and yeah. um, half of our members are on the North uh, Northern Connecticut Land Trust Board. Yeah, that's great. That's great. And, yeah. and Moses is a uh, um, the Roddington Red Rock Riding Club. She represents the host council people. We've got Scout. People, Drew was on the conservation, um, and we're pretty active in maintaining all of the trails. And we've been building Dick Hutton and active. Oh yeah, he oh, comes to great. just about every meeting. Fantastic. The only one that's been if he was West Smith. Yeah, because of his health, but he's, but he's back in action. So. Yeah, he was at the last meeting. So, okay. Um, it's really more of a scheduling thing as far as people's schedules. Um, you know, they're away, so that's been troubling as far as getting a quorum. Also, because we have those voting vacancies, it, it's challenging to get six people, six voting members to do that. How, which ones are non-voting? Uh, myself Just and Dom on the bottom. Okay. And we have one vacant one there for uh, non-voting. Any additional recommendations, Todd? Or to We're always looking for more people, and we haven't been able to. We haven't gotten anybody to say yes yet. We did put something on the uh, town website, didn't we, asking for volunteers? Yeah. Maybe we, we got to run that again. Maybe Facebook. Yeah. So it looks like we have eight. Plus Jonas, the new one, right? There's yeah, so some nine. Correct. Yeah. So I recommend that we approve the uh, nomination of Ann Moses, Barbara Anderson, Richard Bailey, Patrice Carson, Dick Hutton, Wes Smith, Drew Kakuka. And uh, Chris Boucher and the, the other person. Joan, Joan Sears. Sears. What's her name again? Joan, Joan Sears. Sears. Yeah, Joan Sears. Yeah. Second. There's a page. There is. Yeah. There's. There's a letter from yeah. her on the back. Thanks for that, Todd. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Uh, Mike, I wanted to ask you a question about the pension committee. I don't. We have two vacancies. Is there two? I thought there was just one. Who's the vacancy? Is it the charter call for five? Yeah, yeah apparently it does. Yeah. And there's three on it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would discuss that with the chairman. I've asked him about that in the past. He told me he's comfortable with three. I'm not so sure it has to be that way. The selectmen feel as though it needs to be more. I mean you've sat in on virtually no, I, every I every meeting. So I mean if you if you think I mean they, they really vet their candidates before they allow them on. Um, I, I was at the uh, I was a part of the last vetting process for the last candidate. So we actually ended up meeting the guy and, and I, I went out to dinner, had a discussion with him, um, and then they voted on um, allowing him to come on board to 
and we had his resume and what he did. So it's it's a highly vetted, and you would have to be because it's a very technical kind of. Yeah, I tell you, my participation and involvement, I'm very pleased with all the competency of these individuals. I don't see any. I, I would suggest that you um, contact the chairman and, and tell him, uh, unless you 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 are fine with the current number, I, I think they could increase it. Who's the chairman? Bill Fitzpatrick. Bill, Kirk, Bill Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick. I'm sorry. What? We'll find out whether. They have a just. A t they need two for quorum. Is that? Yes. Yeah. They need two for quorum, and their meetings are held during the day. So I'll tell you, every meeting I've attended, there's always been a quorum. Right. Yeah, there's never been a meeting missed. Very yeah, I know all, all three of them. Yeah. yeah. Strong, yeah. strong and financial. All right, we'll reach out to Bill if he has a preference for any other member. But yeah. I think the group works fine together. Yeah. I think it does too. So I would just get his opinion. And then, again, if, if the selectmen think there should be more, then that's fine too. It's whatever you want. Really. Okay. Set planning. Alternate three we could probably fill the one, the planning vacancy on the planning commission itself first, right before you go to the alternates. Is that, is that your preference or? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's easier to find someone yeah, to sorry, actually get to work on sorry, the committee yeah. rather than just yeah. go to the meetings and be an alternate. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah, it is. Any recommendations? No. We'll reach out to Greg. I'll I'll have something by the next meeting for sure. Okay. Jeff, any recommendations? Zero. <coughs> Jeff, uh, the last person you have, uh, you got appointed to that. Jeff Gordon had come up with a name, so you might want to touch base with him. Okay. He may know somebody that wants to serve on that. I thought I think Jim McFeet might have filled Jim. that. McPhee. It's the, the, the son. It's the but son. He's, the, right? he's on, right? Yeah, he's just not listed here, so I'll. I'll, I'll yeah, we that was your yeah. last. That was the last week. Yeah. yeah. And Jeff, okay. Jeff suggested. So I think him. maybe just it's the alternates, and it just got missed, you know, on this. So. I'll so Jim McPhee is the vacancy. Yeah, I, I apologize. I'll talk to Ann. Yeah, and it's probably just an oversight. Not a big right. deal. Just that's a hard form to follow. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's done in I, I, <coughs> I can see why they're having a tough time navigating I through it. Yeah, CD, we're okay. The last one was uh, 2015. We'll do another one until 10, year, 10 years after, well, 2025. Prison liaison, this is always so, a problem. Well, so I'm working on the ordinance for this, I know. Okay, to reduce so, the amount of Yes, okay. so, um, and I think it was six that was voted on at the last meeting. Um, a couple months ago, or something like that. Yep, so that's I'm working changed. on that with Jennifer. She's just been really busy, and so. How but often the does the prison liaison group meet? Quarterly. But they can never get a quorum. Right. It's they're just scheduled it's to meet quarterly. I don't know how often they actually meet. So they go right. The, they go right. But everybody six. from the prison shows up. It's just yeah, that our members are yeah. difficult right. to yeah you know, get there. Yep. So, so what do they do? And what are they? What are they? Like what are they responsible for? What are they? So, do you want to chime in here? Sure. So, the, the purpose behind this that group of that meeting is basically it's a forum for the community to express any concerns they might have to the prison staff. So, if there was complaints concerns about, and this came out when they were building the prisons and there was the groundwater contamination, there's some other issues up there. It was an opportunity for the town to present their concerns or have a voice, and they would have representatives from all three of the prisons in the town at the upper level so that way there could be a dialogue back and forth between the community and the prison. Yeah. But now there doesn't seem to be much going on. I mean, it's pretty right. dark. Right. So by state statute, there still, yeah. ha there still yeah. is, needs to be some type of, if something happened next week for some <coughs> reason, mm, let's right. say there were concerns about the breakout that happened. So in, in, in after the breakout. Yeah. So, so the flip side of that coin is, that I think he's saying, is there's a state statute that says that any town that has a prison, the prison is supposed to have a committee that interfaces with the town. Correct. So I guess at one point we had two committees mm -hmm. uh, with two different charges and then have they been merged into one? No, no actually what we did is we found that the we actually are breaking it out into a separate what happened is that is a great public forum but when police, fire, emergency management would try to have discussions with the wardens and the prison 
liaisons about some of the technical and operational issues. Since it was all public and on the record, that wasn't the right form or the right opportunity for them yeah, to do that, that for us yeah. to talk about emergency response plans. Right. So what we are doing is we've actually I've got that scheduled. We actually we worked on that today. I um, was getting a meeting, so there will be a police fire emergency management meeting with, with prison liaisons, Ooh. but it will be separate than the public. So the emergency meeting. response plan seems to be also could be part of your emergency response team that you have for the town too, right? I mean, it's Correct. Yeah, they're going to want to. Yeah, they're going to want to. Or so ago. Yeah. The other that was a clarification of whether or not the prison representatives could be a voting member. That's been clarified. So. Is there a town? Is there a town liaison on that committee? A, a employee, or is that just? I'm not aware of any. Um, well, the only well, I guess it would be the whoever the state trooper is. I think um, I could be wrong. Um, which is, uh, I don't know if I see him listed should, there. Well, I guess the question is, should there be? Well, that would make sense. Absolutely, yeah. I agree. Uh, I thought he was listed on this. All right. Well, I asked Mike. You know, <coughs> But those two individuals that um, Keith and Denise would like to continue with this house. So I recommend we accept the nomination of uh, Denise Shawakas and Keith Berger to be on the prison liaison public Second. safety committee. In favor. Aye. Aye. Um, I didn't hear back from the next Jeff. two. So. Recreation, Jeff Trebolonsky. <coughs> Karen McLean. So what's this charter next to Jeff? What, what does that mean? I don't know. No, I think, think that's just... He was on the charter commission at some point a long time ago. I don't know if that means that. The charter revision commission? Yeah. But that was why he gets on... Is, you know, that would probably be like three three terms ago. What's the connection? I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, why I, would you put that I on I think here? it's old data, Tim. I think yeah. it's just the way Ann keeps the database. It's just old data. Yeah. Kind of because it, okay. it was not in the last two charter revisions he wasn't on, so. Yeah, it, it's a little bit deceiving, too. Why, why would he want that to begin with? I mean, so yeah, what, he's on a charter the revision commission. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. What's the connection? There is no. Okay, let's move on. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I, I wish I could tell you. Um, I think what really she meant there was the nine-member, one-year term charter, it just kind of dropped down into the next. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think so. That's what I'm assuming. But I can ask her. So. Then maybe the committee was is formed by charter? Yes. Or that, state statute. that would make sense. Well, or oh, state that statute. could be. Yeah. I think it is. There's some. Well, no, some committees are charter. Yeah. 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 That's why we some have of them are ordinance. To reduce Got the it. number of members. If they are ordinance, then the selectmen can get rid of them right. if they're useless. Which I will have to By vote. Month, or by. By ordinance, by updating the ordinance, but <laughs> if they're charter, then you you obviously have to go to vote. The charter has to be charter, but maybe amended. I mean, it's a charter commission. That's what it is. It's, a, it's, mean it's, it's part of the charter. Uh, I'm not really sure. Get the Tim, formed I can't. I, by I the can't know how to think that's what, it what means. you have what's on there. It's, so not I wouldn't it's not easy to decipher. That's for sure. Yeah. All right. But anyways, next um, page. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I think, yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. Next one, town council? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm presuming that he would be willing to serve again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw yeah. Okay, yeah. that. So I'll make a motion that we uh, reappoint Fahey Lambelina and Associates as town council. Second. All in favor? Aye. He's been with us on long, Mike, 20 some years, 26 years. Yeah. Yeah. Long in a while. <laughs> Those are all the snakes are, right? I guess. Well, sometimes he's the most knowledgeable person in the world. Right, exactly. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's a good question. Even though he's kind of quiet. I mean, yeah, he's... Yeah, he's so yeah. Stuff. He knows what he's doing. What you're talking about? The other committee? Because I don't know what that is. So I recommend we uh, continue Fahey Landolina. We, we, did we cover that? Did we do yeah, it? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Town resident safety. So I think this is the one that I was talking about because I knew I seen his <laughs> trooper on here somewhere, but I couldn't tell you about this committee. I don't hang up on. So, and have they ever met? I, Do I they don't, meet? I don't know. I'd have to talk to Ann about this. So. Yeah, we gotta eliminate that if it's. Well, yeah, Brad, Brad would know. Brad Pellis here would know if they meet. 
Yeah, I'll find out. Just call Brad Truman. I will. Yeah. What's the name of the committee? Town Resident Safety Committee. I'm not aware of that. So that that's that's definitely not a charter committee. That's probably an ordinance that. Yeah, didn't they used to do like stop signs and where you put crosswalks and that kind of stuff? The Y2K? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the folding stop sign. <laughs> <laughs> Some other with the reflectors on you know, yeah. Yeah. that may be here but it's all regulated by state by yeah. DOT now all yeah. of the yeah, yeah. control stuff is regulated yeah. through federal highway by the, by the state yeah, yeah but I think I think long ago they were talking long about long ago yeah. the towns could do whatever they yeah. wanted to, yeah. Yeah. so is somebody going to check on this and yeah, we even need to do I this yeah. 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 Well, we um, it doesn't seem like it's very active either that's I haven't even heard of it are you aware of it I never even heard of it how about you, Todd? So why don't I make a motion so we can get it in the record? We'll make a motion that we uh, have the first selectman or his designate reach out to Brad Pellis here and find out the status okay. of the town residency. Got committee. it. Yeah. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Brad will know. Yeah, I don't think I've never seen him. Yeah. 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 Brad's probably going to say, what? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm a member of that? <laughs> Brad's WPCA. And that's another another question is about people that serve on multiple commissions. I mean, is that yes. some are per how, how so that's the that? other thing. I know, that's we a good point. To, um, yeah. Some are per charter. So like Dan Farrow, Ferro, um serves on uh, a couple of different things yeah. because it's per the charter. You need right. somebody from like different yeah. W. Yeah. It's all land so, use stuff that yeah, is so per I, the charter. You know, so. well, I, guess I, I, don't, I don't understand that <laughs> because he's he's the guy that I'm just concerned that he's not the most active player on commissions. At least I've seen him on. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dan Farrell? Yeah. Oh, he's active in zoning. But he's on um, the zoning commission and um, he's on the cultural commission. Yeah, WPCA. And so. W, yeah, so WPCA. But I think that might be per charter. I'm trying to look for his name. I could be wrong. What does that mean per charter? Again? Per the charter, you're going to have mm -hmm. like committees, a uh, Committees are actually established in the town charter. No, I, I get that. Yeah, so I get that. What does that have to do with Dan Fry? I think on the, there you have to have a member from like zoning, zoning has to have has a member of WPCA right. on it. So I've got, okay. I've got Something the charter like pulled up here. I don't know. Yeah. I don't see. That's not a charter committee. Right, but like that last one we were just talking about being maybe a charter committee, it's not listed. You're talking about which one? Right. Right. Uh, the Recreation Commission does not no, look like it's in the charter. Definitely not. So it says yeah. charter next to Jeffrey Jablonski's name. I, I and guess I think that's because of the, it's just a bad form. All right. So I if you could just have Ann clarify that for us <laughs> so you know what the heck we're looking at, that'd be okay. great. I, it's my most favorite time. Can I make a recommendation that you like take that away and like establish something that's a lot more organized committee by committee? So that when these guys go to look at this stuff, it's it's crystal clear. This has been the same form every time I looked at it. I know. Um, I need to have some. And then, and then, for example, at the end of this evening, what you would give them at the next meeting is all the committees, any vacancies remaining, and any people that need to be confirmed remaining, and they don't have to go through this exhaustive list. Okay, so I that is so to hard to follow. Yeah. <laughs> So I Good tried to ask about um, getting this in an Excel format, but I, I was going to say I I've, even I've offered tried to do to it even once. Um, update it and then, but you know, it's I, it, I, offered I think to her do office it. or she has to be well, a part seems, of this. So. It seems like it's the right thing for a town clerk to maintain, Correct. Yes. right? Correct. So it belongs in the town clerk's office. Correct. It's just it needs the output does not appear to be very friendly to people like us who. You know, need if, to read if you had an right. Excel document where each committee was its own tab, exactly. And it listed that's that what way. I would do because then you could just whatever print them. I, it, right yeah. but it, I mean it would be it's a, lot a database easier. application but however they want to do it, it it's got to be cleaner than this but yeah like, yeah so yeah I would agree that's something you can throw into that review process there but we've got to get this cleaned up so all right let's let's move along and we're uh, we're down to Zoning Board of Appeals then yeah um, yes yeah. everybody wants to well, that's so I'll make that's a motion that we yeah. reappoint the four people three Dane Hales, Doc Steffens. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm no, done. Zoning Board of Appeals. Do you yeah. want to highlight Dane Hales? Yeah. Ralph yep. Williams. Yeah. A second. All in okay. favor? Aye. Zoning Commission. Dan Farrell said yes. So moved. Uh, vote on it. Okay. 
Show Conklin. That's the other one. Lucas Cherry. Lucas Cherry and Dan Farrow. Farrell. Yeah, Farrell and. Um, Again, a bad acquisition. I think it's Sam the very Smith. bottom of that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Cam, did Sam Smith, did you reach out I to I haven't him? heard back from him. So okay. So I'll make a motion that we appoint Dan Farrow and Lucas Cherry to the Zoning Commission. Second. All in favor? Aye. I agree with uh, Mike. We need to get this in a more usable form, so if we can take all this time and effort to find out who's serving and who isn't. Okay. Uh, while we're on boards and commissions, oh, we, yeah, we did get an cool. email from yeah. Summers yeah. Education Foundation looking for representation uh, right. from the Board of Selectmen, and Tim, I think you offered to do that, so I'd like to make a motion that we uh, respond to the Summers Education yeah. Foundation yeah. with Tim yeah. Keeney as the appointed yeah. representative yeah. from Board of Selectmen. Okay. I don't know. Second? I voted. I, I, I you're seconding? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I missed it. I'm sorry. I made, a, to me. I made a motion that we authorize the Board of Selectmen to respond to the request from Summers Education okay. Foundation, uh, naming Tim Keeney as the Board oh. of Selectmen okay. representative to the Summers Education Foundation. And by the way, I was a, one of the founders and, oh, and really? I've served, I as a, I served as an assistant to them for cool. over a decade. So. Yeah, I think they'll be happy to have you on the board, so that's great. Very All good. Favor. Aye. Okay. Next item is proposed holiday. Well, yeah. can we just finish the boards and commissions because Todd had sent you that email? Um, we have the uh, the last Todd page of the, the packet class. of the packet that I gave you. Yeah, it just the run. Oh. oh yeah. Sorry, the uh, open space committee uh, okay. voted to forward this to the board of selectmen for the second year. Uh, the oh, the moonlight run. Yes, yeah, started want okay. to conduct the moonlight run at Camp Iapo again. It was successful last year. So. Family friendly activity across the, the town, nothing. The striders put it on. And families go up there. It was about 25 people. My wife and I went up last year and we did the Blue Trail, which is around oh. the Hover Church Lake. And then if you're a runner after that, you can do the two and a half mile Orange Trail if you like. Just the running in the dark, is there any, yeah. uh, any <laughs> liability <laughs> issues? <laughs> you know. No, the uh, striders <laughs> put it on and they, they used to do it up on the soap zone, but DEP yeah. said you have to hire a environmental cop now for a minimum of eight hours if you want. Oh. So they said, well, we all don't raise any money for this, and we don't have any money. <laughs> so could we do it at Camp Iapol? And the Board of Selectmen said that yes, last yeah. year they want to do it again this year. They'd like to make it an annual event, first weekend yeah. in February. Is there any yeah. liability at related to this? I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there is. It's town property, right? Well, it is, yeah. but it's but part of covered. the grant that we got to buy the property. It's to be used as open space, and anybody walking up there, if they trip and fall, it's the same liability. Correct. It's open for open space. This is an open space use under the grant terms. Yep. It's no Sounds like, a, it's like a great time, actually. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. They had the bonfire, the fire going in the little stone oh, fireplace, and they brought nice. cookies and stuff up. And oh, that's nice. Yeah, my wife fell. We were oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's so <laughs> it's in February, you said, though? It was icy last yeah, year. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, if there's too much snow, they won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just good with being <laughs> outside at nighttime in February. Well, any alcoholic I'm beverages, no, sir? Nothing. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Not officially. <laughs> Not yeah. <laughs> nobody, nobody no, asks. No, no. Don't ask the hotel at the moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so the open space committee is asking the board selectmen to uh, make this an annual event or, or approve making it an annual event. I think that's the awesome. striders put on. Brian will show up in short sleeves. He doesn't <laughs> like it warm. <laughs> no, it's a little chilly for me. In I'll make a motion <laughs> that we approve the proposal to. Uh, endorse an annual moonlight run at Schnipset. Is there always is always going to be the for the purpose of the discussion second, second week in February or something? That's like the that. planned week. Sometimes they'll move depending on weather. Yeah. It'll be in February. Right. John, there's no a second any additional discussion. Yeah, there's no conflict with mass gathering ordinance. We don't expect that big of a problem. Well, not even close. And do we want to get some sort of annual reminder from them that it's coming up so that we can put it in the magazine Dom and just give us a part of the, the uh, open Summers space Connect committee. Magazine. He's the right. one that runs it for the strike. Oh, it's in the last one. one. No, that's the next one's coming yeah. out in the spring. Because, right. right. I mean, you know, we talk a lot about EDC and some of the things we should do for tourism. One of the greatest things this town has is the open space and the trails and the walkability. Mm -hmm. and this could bring people in from out of town if yeah. we promote it well and do a nice job. And it's just, 
I think we're missing an opportunity to talk about the recreational capabilities we have as a community. Mm -hmm. And with all the stuff Chris is doing with, you know, building up we, the We have built the website and do talk about the, all the trails and put all the brochures yeah. on yeah. the rec website. And there's also a Facebook page for Great. the specific yeah. one. Yep, that's the and kind of stuff that to everybody. adds a lot of value to the community, makes it really lovable. Yeah. So thanks. That's good. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Okay. Next time it's a Thank discussion. You. Yes, we got to vote. Sorry? You got to vote it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Don't forget that stuff. Don't think about that. that. It's all right. I'm melting right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Todd. That's, that's cool. Thank you. Uh, the next Check item is the proposed holiday schedule discussion. Authorization schedule payments. Yep, schedule payments. I next. apologize. That's okay. I'll forgive you this time. <laughs> For the purpose of discussion, I'll make a motion that we approve tables in the amount of six hundred and some odd thousand dollars. Six forty-seven nine hundred five thirty-two. Before we get to that, I'd just like to, while we're talking about that, uh, I'm just I'm used to going over budgets, and there's no memo about. We know who the check's going to. We don't know what it's for. You know, so it's just. I know the last time you said, oh, "Hey, we got three hundred pages of stuff we can dump on you if you want," but. I, I'm just, how can you approve this when you really don't know what it is? We do know what it is. In fact, I had the same discussion when I came in oh. here. You delegated to me to review it. Correct. Yeah, we reviewed it. I signed off on it. If, if you're not satisfied with that, no, you No, no. I, what, what I would say then is why don't we just let him sign off on stuff then? Why because do we need by to vote on By statute, you have to approve, have to approve it. whatever the treasurer uh, presents to them. Yeah. But you see what I mean? I mean, we we are kind of flying blind here. I mean, at least I am. I don't well, I, I, I think the point here is we've delegated mm -hmm. to competent people to analyze this. Yeah, so that's, you know, uh, that, usually, you know. usually Tim, I ask questions, like I've got three on some big ones when you're done, just, yeah. to, just yeah. to get clarity on the big ones, but yeah. um, I had the same question when I came in, why don't we have it to you know, is this is this against just, an office just line line item? Is this against the DPW truck item or something? And it just Tim, if you want. No, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, it's hard I, to I, do it over email, so we'd have to work out some kind of a process where you. Yeah, it'd come probably in and be too it. big to even email it ourselves. What I would suggest, Tim, is that when you get this prior to the meeting, that if there's any questions you have by an item, that we can get the backup data. Okay, some of the bigger items. Yeah, I try to send it out yeah. the day before the meeting, right. and and I would say, you know, if you have questions, let me know, because then if you have specific ones, I can pull the data ahead right. of time too. Yeah. A lot of these items are nits and lice, pretty typical. So if I'm going to anticipate uh, one of your questions is, what's that large one for 247000 Right. Um, that's, that's the track at the high school. So my question on that one was, how are we doing to budget on that project? And can we get that kind of like a standing report once a month or however long it's going to take? I definitely get definitely the board. Yeah, I've got, I've got it. I can, <laughs> I can email you. Yeah. Um, I can email you on it. Because again, I, I think the I have a fully up to date. I think the budget on that was like three million and change, right? Yeah, yep. It is. So yeah, it is. we spent two sixty today. Fair how off. close are we to the three million? Not how far are we going to be? And then what yep. kind of? Right. I can get that to you. Yeah. I think they're going to be over anyhow, right? No, I don't think. I'll tell you what though. That is a spectacular. Project. I yeah. was, like, went up and looked at it over Thanksgiving yeah. weekend, and it it really is a great symbol for the town. And as other communities come in and, and will be able to host events, it's cool. But I'm just curious. And if it were to go over budget, they would have to they would have to either cut an item. Yeah, they'd have to chop other stuff out of the bond. They can't go. Their bonds, okay. Yeah. yeah. In, ultimately, in the end, they, they cannot go. Tim, to respond to respond yeah. to your concern is. Can I suggest that if there are any items that may be questioned, that we can give you the backup necessary to satisfy? I mean, I'm just going through it myself. Right. But you know, I'm short of time, like a lot of people are. But the common, like the first page, common sense EMS supply LLC. What is that? That's your boy right over there. Those are our medical supplies. <laughs> medical supplies. Okay, that's what medical supplies. Okay, so that would be helpful if I if I knew that. Yep. I, mean, I wouldn't have to say what the heck is that. Well, I do when I review it. I yeah. do say but what the heck I, is I, that. I know, but see, that's the problem. I mean, if you're going to review it and just approve it and we rubber stamp it, that's what this becomes. No, you don't have to rubber stamp it. You, you can raise any question you want. Yeah. But when you don't, it's hard to review when you don't know what it is. Yeah. Like, how, how can you do that? I mean, that's, yeah. I'm a budget guy, you know. That's I, what I, you're saying. I'm, I'm used to going over budgets, and I don't need 300 pages of information, but couple of line items in, in the memo section would 
That, you help that's generated by the software. I can't make it do anything more than what it does. Yeah. That, that's well, the, again, how do we solve this? How is is there any way to get this information out maybe a day or two ahead of time as opposed to the same well, No, I think, I think if it was even by category. So I've, I've seen the same things, like you'll see it payable to Amazon. I don't, you know, great, you bought it on Amazon, save money, but what's it for? Is it for Tom Hall? Is it for DKW? Is it, where is that expense going? Not just not just the payable, but what's the expense attributable to it? I mean, so, so we're still on page one. Delage, Delage, Landon. What, what is Copy that? machines. Copy machines. That's the least. Okay, energy resources at the bottom. So what's, uh, what's the best way to Energy tra uh, generation. generation. For what? I mean, it, it across could, it could town. Take a while. Yeah, I mean, we, we get come in here 18 of those a month. Different, different, build, different and buildings and so you forth, could yeah. Building. Question energy. after question. Yeah. Could answer, so it's so. different buildings. We get an Eversource and we get an NG bill. Uh, one what is do you buy with the NG? Electricity. One, yeah. It's electricity. One is, one is transmission. Where we buy our electricity from? Yeah. Eversource just distributes, Mike, it. Uh, distributes it. Yeah. So Mike, you made, a, you made a comment in terms of answering yeah. questions that Tim or Tim may have. When we have this submitted, you can bring in the backup data. Yeah, I can bring in the documentation, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I just can't. Yeah. I think it's, how about that? So can, it be, oh, can it be matched up to budget, major budget groups? Uh, no, not yes. within the software, it can. No. It'd be another step. I'd have to create a document and do it. We're just processing the payment that's been approved by the cost center directors. Yep. Now, for instance, next, next page, page two, Canaan... Escalera and McHale, PC. What is your legal, legal, your legal attorney. attorney for the town? Okay. Don't move off of page two, Tim, because you're not going yeah. question. National Business two. Furniture, 1538. Uh, desk. Uh, it was a desk and a filing cabinet. Um, do you buy this stuff new or do you go look at yeah, that secondhand was stuff or anything? You ever do that? Uh, Actually, yeah, we've we looked at some secondhand stuff, and it costs about the same as this okay. company. UConn and the prisons do stuff, but the, yeah. the stuff they have available is junk. Yes. It's, I mean, it's, like, they got rid of it for. I mean, I know a lot of businesses and law firms that go and buy secondhand furniture, and it's pretty nice stuff. I mean, yeah, we we actually bought a desk a couple of years ago. We bought a desk for um, land use secondhand. It was nine hundred and forty dollars for the desk. I paid eight seventy five for mine, brand new. Great. Okay, Newington Gun Exchange. Uh, Newington Gun Exchange. Nine hundred one dollars. Is that for the place? It's got to be the police. It's got to be the police, but I, I I just assumed it was, but I, you know, I can't. I could look it up. I can't is. give you an answer right now, but yeah. Looks like for the furniture, though. I mean, the fire department did get like forty thousand dollars for the furniture last year donated. Right. From a second hand piece, it was a company that was moving out of new took in their old furniture. So are they are they buying weapons? Is that what they're doing? Or, uh, yeah. Well, they buy ammunition. Or ammo. Yeah, or ammo, sure. one of the two. So mine on that page, there were yeah. there were two line items for the same dollar amount to site one landscaping. Two separate line items, but site one well, landscaping. That's, um, we buy our seed and our fertilizer and uh, sprinkler heads. That's for the park. But it was two identical line items. Yeah, which 9, 30, 9, 30, 6, 9, 30, 9, yeah. yeah, we got two loads of, I think he bought seed this fall. They both the same oh, day. Yeah. Right. We, both the same day, them. both the same amount, but two separate line items. It almost looked like the check got paid twice, and I just wanted to see did we did we double pay there, or were there really two two checks separate payables? It's unlikely because Paula checks all that, and I sign off of it. And when we put the invoice two number two. in as well, when we put it in, if you type it in a second time, it'll flag it That's and two say separate, you know, uh, two separate checks. Oh, I know there's two separate yeah. check numbers. I'm not questioning that we yeah. sent out two <laughs> checks. I'm wondering if we should have only sent out one. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Double pay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, if it was the same invoice number, our software would have flagged it and said, you've already paid this invoice. And so then, you know, we would have researched. Yeah. And, you know, Marie's good about that. She would have researched it immediately. Um, like I know we get a lot of recurring bills, the exact same amount. And so yep. if come, one check comes late, the other one, the invoice comes early. Yeah. Just so you know, I had to talk to Easy Pass today because they billed me twice for for a toll that I didn't pay. So you know, nice. That's just you. It's Easy Pass too. That's happened to me too. Um, can you just in the be between now and the next meeting, if you could just make sure that that was intentional two payments? That was site just, one. I've never seen that before. Site one. Site landscaping. one landscaping, and it's on eleven twenty seven. Two different check numbers. One zero three four three five two and five three. Two payments. What is it? Nine hundred and. 
Nine thirty nine ninety six. All right. Yeah, I'll look into it for you. Just this, it just stuck out. I haven't seen it yep. in the past couple of years. So. And then the other question I had. There's one payable to Santander Bank. My question is the same as Tim's. What's that for? How much is Lease. it? I was gonna say. I think it's a lease payment. That's a sixty six thousand dollar one. Yeah. Yeah. That's the final payment of a lease package from fiscal sixteen. And the last one I had was on pages three and four. It looks like we have a bunch of retirement payments out yeah. to individuals. Yep, monthly pensions. Should we group those into one so that the people's names aren't in there? Because it looks like we never see a payroll distribution that has everybody's name on it either. I just These aren't payroll. Those. I know they're not payroll, but it's, it's you know, it, to me it, it's just odd that we'd have the, the people's name on there with the payments. But if, if it's They're a vendor? So, I mean, uh, the way we have to run them through payables and then I have to hand type 1099s for them because um, our software doesn't have a, like a pension disbursement application to it. So, honestly, it's the only way I can do it. Um, and this, like I said, again, the software generates this. I, I can't modify this report okay. other than the three signatory names at the end of it. That's the only thing I can really control on. Well, unless you want them to total it and just tell you that these are the total pension payments and you, you'll never see that uh, work out. Sheet. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I can omit them from the report. That makes, that makes sense to me. I would it's rather do that. I, I don't need to see the individual line items and if it's, it's an approved pension payment. Um, the problem with omitting it is our cover sheet then, the cover sheet total will differ from the attachments. The totals won't be there if it I admit it. When you put it into a group, I, I, you know, I don't think it needs to matter what the technology is. We can just cobble something together that will say this is the total or for their approval. I mean, I got the cover sheet that's, like I said, if I'm putting the attachments, if I take them out, it won't, the total won't be the same. Gotcha. So okay. you'd be approving 581, but then the report would only show 561. So, so, so let's redact the would. names then. then you they can show the amounts if you'd like and then just Yeah, I mean, don't, don't jump through hoops. I just thought for the for the privacy factor for those individuals who are recipients. Yeah, it's, public nice. it's public information. Know, honestly. It is. That makes it, it easy, right? Yeah. Fine. Oh, whatever <laughs> works best. Um, I would think that as we go through software upgrades, if there's way to get if there's ways me to if get a report module that's oh a little yeah. bit more customized. If there was a way that I could get a a pension disbursement module, I would love it because I would <laughs> that would be less work for me Can't too. You just run that through payroll. No, because then it'll generate a W two instead of a ten ninety nine R. That would be active. No, no, but I know a lot of payroll processors today have a module for 1099 payments. Yeah, right. Ours no tax withholdings, no nothing. So, I again, as you as you know. research stuff through the agency, they usually have a subset under payroll. Subset? They wouldn't be okay. considered payroll. Okay. Um, but, but it, yeah, goes, it runs through software. HR so that you've got yeah. employee records and all that stuff, and then you just yeah. 1099 them, and they're not employees. Yeah. yeah might be an easier way for you to do it. So. You said a quick question on the Rogers Memorial Studio. Does that come yep. out of the cemetery fund and we just yep. approve it? Is that how it works? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I thought. Okay. And that's a monthly recurring bill as well. Mountain View Landscapes and Lawn Care on page 506. For 247000 That's the track. The cool. You're the contractor for the track. Yep. Okay. Just, just more of the same. That's yep. I mean, that's bond money to yeah, it's right. bond funding. And uh, you got Santander Bank at sixty six thousand three. That was the lease that's payment the that, lease that, that Tim brought up. Yeah, that's the lease for for vehicles. Yeah, and it's the final lease payment, final one. Okay. Um, Shipment a good one. What are they doing? We're doing an uh, assessment over at the uh, mill site for environmental um, liability moving forward in terms of well, if we sign an agreement with the developer, mm -hmm. uh, does the Transfer Act kick in? Right. And so Carl has been our liaison on that, but we yeah. can finish it and go in directly. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I yeah, remember we. We had them. One of the attorneys from that. Spoke. Originally, this guy and his guy is kind of the successor of the the other guy who isn't who is there anymore. Older, yeah. Uh, 
so he's picked up the ball on that yeah. side. Yeah, they're, they're good firm for that for sure. Yeah. And Robert Soshin, 9,016, what's, what's that? Gary. Um, I think that was work at the board of that. Yeah, I, was say, I think that's also He's doing construction money. work in the schools. Uh, yeah. I'm not exactly sure the nature of all of them. Yeah, I think he's been. Jobs. I want to say that was part of the door canopies, Security. but I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But I the construction that. work at the schools. Yeah, yeah. yeah. part yeah. of the bond package. It's part of the bond package. David Morgan will um, serve on the cemetery committee. Well, I just well, heard that. <laughs> well, 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 not. Well, okay. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's very opinionated. Frank? <laughs> 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 he, he takes you to the brink before he um, signs off. Yeah. So that's good. I'm glad. Yeah. Okay, so, with the changes, changes that Tim is recommending in terms of eliminating the names, no, we're not going to make the changes. It's yeah, I'm not modifiable, so that's fine. It was just okay. a question. If I, cha if I change it and the reports were different, the auditors would flag me on okay. the because yeah. they do look at these. We are going to be upgrading coming up uh, to another version uh, in, in, that, in the suite that yeah. we have now. And, and part of it, for, for a nominal amount of, of money, it's like seven or $8,000, there is an HR self-service uh, mm -hmm. module. And I can, I can only imagine that in there, there's something to do with, with pension. We can look into it yeah, and we'll see. Yeah. So it's a possibility. Great. But on the bigger items, to address Tim's concern, uh, we can bring the backup information. I can, all, I can bring the book with me every, we'll bring, every we'll bring time. We'll bring anything yeah. you'd like, and then just shoot and fire away. Um, and yeah. cool. I like think it's a lot easier. Yeah, BBC where Tony Blair would be answering It's a lot easier than through. having you try to navigate through it on your own yeah. With, yeah. A, with a pile of paper. Yeah. I mean, right. so. Well, th th again, I'm just, you know, like in your checkbook, you write down in the memo section what it is, yeah. not just who's getting the yeah. check. Yeah. So, just as a so think of the process this way. They generate, they put it together, they, they put, I get, I get this yeah. big, sh I go through it, I go through all the funds, I look at all the charges, I raise <coughs> questions, I go in there and ask for source documents. Yeah. Marie, who works for Brian, if Brian's not there, they, they dig them out, they give them to me, I look at them, they answer my questions. So in the end, and I take a few notes myself because I know there are going to be some questions on the larger items, and then I sign off on it. You should be, you don't necessarily need to be totally detailed, but you should audit it and look at things that you feel need to be looked at. So we'll come prepared with all the documents and, and like I say you can just start you know on, on a hit or miss or on a however you want to do it basis say what's this what's this yeah. even if it's only a couple of thousand and not a big one yeah. just like you asked about shipping and government you were interested but that's fine that would that would work yeah, it just makes us much more knowledgeable too about yeah. what's going I, on I totally right? agree that's fine sure. so if, the, if you don't even need to vote on this I mean it's just process we'll we'll do it you got Tim? I'm fine. Okay. You need that kneecap anyway. <laughs> You're just going to vote on Dave Morgan when you get that. So. Okay. Okay. So I'll make a motion that we appoint Dave Morgan to the Cemetery, cemetery Commission. So yeah. Aye. 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 There you go, Brian. Yep. Okay, the next item is a discussion of the proposed holiday schedule. For the purpose of discussion, I'll make a motion that we approve the schedule as presented. Okay. And now we can open discussion if you want to second yeah. it. And then we can I'll second it. Discussion? So, Kim, thanks for the work you did on this. and um, Yeah. You, a lot oh, of I have a couple of follow-ups, too. Um, so, uh, um, I have it here, sorry. Um, so uh, Woodstock, um, and I meant to mention that these are all per union contracts, so they're all unions. And Woodstock gets the floater per the union contract. Floater for what? For Good Friday, because that was Friday. the one question because yep. of the Fridays that were off. And, um, and that's really it, so um, okay. I didn't hear back from a couple of these other people, but um, they're part-time anyways, they're town hall, so it doesn't really affect. But 
it affected their DPW, they do get that because they're five days a week. So. Yeah, so, and that's, you know, I wanted to thank you not only for the work, but for your comments about, um, you know, the value that the, that the town employees bring to us. And it isn't a question of value that the town employees bring, it's, it's the value that our citizens perceive that we have available for them at town hall and through, and the, through the, all their too. offices. So, uh, you know, from that perspective, I think it's, it's a worthy discussion. So. Yeah, I, I personally uh, sort of take a fr fr front at your comment about you know, the question is whether we value the people that work for the town. That's I've, I've worked for over 35 years at the state, federal, and local level. I've always been a huge promoter of my employees, and that's not why I'm looking at this. I know. And okay, I but it's important that you know that, that because yeah. That's the kind of thing that he can start spreading rumors. He well, that was my perception. He doesn't support the town employees. <laughs> that, that's just crazy as far as I'm concerned. I understand. The, re the reason I brought it up is because in all of the levels that I've served at the federal, state, and local level, I've, I've never taken this many holidays. I mean, this is so, to me, I mean, I thought it was a very legitimate question. Hey, you're taking 13 holidays, including uh, Lincoln and Washington, when most organizations take one President's Day. What organization? Well, you got right here. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't know if you were talking about private or public. Okay, okay. I'm, well, I I, I'm, 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 well, okay, I'll, I'll say in particular. So probate system, for instance. Check with them. They, they get 13, 12 holidays, and they combine Lincoln and... and yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know that. Mm -hmm. You knew that. Okay. I do. Well, uh, I just know that you know I talked to Ann Logan and I goes how long have we been doing this because I think there's more important things to focus yeah. on rather than this. Well okay yeah. you can say it I'm nitpicking <laughs> but there's a public perception that, right right and it has nothing to do with I mean these people are public servants and so sure. we're serving the town right and I, I, I don't get know what the school gets but you know I'm sure they get a lot so of I'd, I'd like to let but him finish. finish. No, I, I, I just, uh, yeah. I, I just, I, I'm just, I'm just sensitive to, uh, and, and by the way, also, I did a fair amount of door-to-door -door campaigning over 350 doors, and this, this issue came up, uh, and it's just, in my mind, it's, it's, uh, there is an optics issue here, and that is that you take every single holiday that's available, and, and, you call it double dipping. That's your word, not I mine. I heard that. In not not case. my word. Okay. Okay. Uh, I heard that, so I'm so sorry. I did not say double dipping, okay. but I did say that I thought it was rather unusual that if a holiday falls on a Friday and the town's not working on a Friday, well, that they get to take a floating holiday. I don't find which that Which to it me is... I, I, you have spent a lot of time in public government. I spent over 50 years in the corporate environment. And any time a holiday fell on a Saturday, whatever, and it was extended to the next day. That's pretty typical. I would like to say that uh, in my experience in industry as well as coming into municipal government, we pay our people well, but not they're slightly under what other towns get. They work here because they enjoy the environment, and they see this as a benefit. So I am personally in favor of maintaining the 13-day holiday schedule. That's my opinion. We can have additional discussions on that. Yeah, and I heard, I heard the comment made last time by Mike saying, hey, you're cherry-picking here because we've got a whole basket of, of elements that go yeah. into well, well, I was just saying employees. it's just a component of, of, of compensation. I, I, I know, but there, there is this optics issue that I think you need to be sensitive to. I am sensitive. Saying, hey, we've been doing this for 20 years. Let's just I am keep sensitive doing to it. it. I've also run it. I've had no people mention that to me. Maybe I'm not talking to the same people, Maybe but I also have knocked on probably two-thirds of the doors in this town. I so I, I took a look now, you know, and, and from a, from the business side, we have a 260-day, 40-hour week, 2,080-hour year in most corporate enterprises. Here we got 208 days. So you've got 20% fewer days than a than a structure would have in, in town hall, not not including DPW. So so we're looking at a four-day work week. Um, you know, I'm paying. Personally, $195.98 every two weeks for my medical benefits, another $8.86 for dental. So when we take a look at the whole thing, um, you know, I'm putting 6500 bucks a year into benefits that we extend to employees. So I, I think we have a very, a very attractive environment for someone who wants to work. 
in an environment like this. So I think if we're talking about 12 holidays versus 13, I don't think we're asking people to overstep what should be expected of a public servant. I'd be in favor of a 12-day schedule taking Lincoln's out. My experience in this is this. Once you grant people a benefit and try Mm -hmm. to take that benefit back, it really impacts morale. And I think it's a situation that could... Some turnover is not bad, bud. And I, 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 can't, I can't believe we're going to lose morale over a Wednesday in February. It's also kind of a creeping issue, too, though, because they come up with another <laughs> holiday like Martin Luther King and say, oh, just add that to the pile. You know, and, that, that's just, and well, you might say, oh, my God, you're being racist. Let's get some input. <laughs> you know, I mean, let's seriously. Get, I mean, that's, let's get some input from I, the chief and from Todd and from Brian and Kim and or Mike. It's an open discussion we're having. <laughs> My experience, as I mentioned, I think it's it's a negative aspect, and I think it will affect morale. That's my opinion. Okay? Now, yes, is it a benefit to those people that work here? Absolutely. But I think that's one of the reasons, one of the reasons they decide to work in municipal government. Mm-hmm. And there are other towns that do the same thing, right? We've mm-hmm. gone through all that. Yeah. So, so oh, I meant to mention that Tom and, um, so the, um, Per their union contract, they so they so for that Friday, Good Friday, they close early on Thursday. So because that's what they negotiated with all the unions. So. But when I looked at that chart, the ones that are closed Friday seem to have a 12-day holiday schedule, and they're only and they two. could be. They, only they very two, well could right? be um, because of Thanksgiving. I think the day. Thanksgiving. Well, that's the one that really fries me when you get because Thanksgiving week, you give Thursday. Friday and a floater. So basically, you're saying people have to work two days. Well, the only people get an extra get a day of vacation well, because uh, it, because the well, f- Friday after they're working right, your right. so that's, schedule that's, that's in four days though. You're actually working your your full 35 yeah. hour schedule Monday through Thursday. I mean, you do get the holiday on Thursday, right? But, but you've act so you're not. You've already worked. Right, so now you're being, so we but, but again, you're not taking away. but Friday again, you're giving week. three days off for that week. You can take well, one of them is a floater. You can take any time you want. Right. But, but basically, that's, the because argument is that's because you did not have the so. Let's say the police and the fire and public works are working five days that week. They get that Friday off. That's that's a meaningful holiday. So they for them. also only work three days. So now they've only only worked three days because they get the holiday. Right. But if you're in town hall, you've already worked penalized. the full schedule. Right. Yeah. So you've worked your three days. So then you get Thursday is a holiday. Then do you pick up an extra eight hours for the Friday? Holidays? You pick up for the uh, the holiday that you didn't Take get because day you off worked. Else. Else. Everybody so else is getting that holiday because everybody else got schedule to work on. I'm that fine with that. that. Right, right. So because That's you didn't have Friday as an option, you can take a Tuesday in July and go golfing. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm fine with that. The, the one that really gets me is, the, is the, the Wednesday. I don't think there's a lot of places that have Lincoln's birthday on And anyway. most places don't, so you're yeah. right. That's, 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 that's where I started. Exactly. Yeah. And so it's just that. And I, really and that's just and I, think I would leave it. Good Friday alone. <laughs> right, that's right. And I think, I think you guys are right with the Fridays for people who have a five-day week and a floater for people who don't. That works fine for me. I think but I think 13 is a little, a and little heavy, and I would go to 12 by taking What we do kids. have to check as well, because from my understanding as well, all these holidays are listed in the fire union contract, so right. they're going to get the Lincoln holiday regardless well, of what you do. Obviously the doesn't, of this obviously doesn't, any kind of contract would be exempt from this anyways. We right, don't, so. Right, we don't control right. it. Right. That's a contractual union, I mean, obligation. I got the union contract. The union contract, they have 13 well, holidays we'll listed. Yeah. It's very yeah. convoluted because they work 365 weeks. Correct. Right. Um, right. We actually don't do Lincoln's and President's Day, what they call it, or Lincoln's and Washington's yeah. Day and President's Day. Yeah. We also have Easter Sunday because we work on Sundays, right. which nobody else in town, no. even DPW normally doesn't work on Sundays. Right. The school's so we've got Easter Sunday as a holiday as opposed to... But the Tim's point, I think a, a, a negotiated agreement right. like that's going to be off the charts for this anyhow. Right. I just didn't know if Lincoln's was listed in there or not, was what I was saying. So if, yeah. if you were taking it away from everybody, understand that the fire department, fire department still, still have I, I hate to, yeah, you know, still I hate to think of it as taking away. I understand that it's been there, but we're still offering 12 paid holidays to... to you to checked to uh, you checked 18 towns, 12 have 13 holidays, is that correct, based upon this schedule? But, but they don't have four-day work weeks. Right. A, 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 a lot of those towns that take away, that, that don't have that Lincoln one off, I think when I looked at her chart, yeah. offer uh, some form of a 
floater. Right. Plus, again, we, you say we're working four days, but we're putting those hours in right. necessary for a five day. So right. 35, plus right? 35. Plus, the other thing is, a lot of these employees, and I've been here, I'm here a lot myself, <coughs> that's just my personal preference. A lot of these people put extra time in. For example, the other night I was here until 9.30, yep. plus no. people come in, you know, and it's all part of the package. That is part of the package. We well, all live that life. I agree. But, but also, it's also there's an availability to the public to do your right. work. I agree. And then that they relying on the fact they have they need but I'm services not aware, from Tim, town hall. I'm not hall. aware of any uh, negative in terms of service for our mm -hmm. employees here. Mm -hmm. I mean, for example, uh, we don't work on a Friday, but we make up in terms of coming in earlier during the week and staying late on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. Just like presidents have, have my, well, my well, telephone well, number. Just, so just, like, <laughs> it's all just good. like if you don't want it, just like, and, and I, I'm sensitive to what he's saying. Yeah. If you don't, if you do think you shouldn't have Lincoln's birthday, and you make it a floater, then town hall isn't closed right, on that here. day, and people take that floater yeah. on their birthday or some other day, as so it because doesn't, doesn't impact start. the level of service to the community. So. That would be a you know that would be a logical trade off. So, but anyway, it's your That's choice. Yeah. Kind of compromise, you're right. Um, so, what you're saying, eliminate the Lincoln holiday, but make it a floater. Correct. Eliminate it so that you don't shut town hall down. Right, 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 right. So, you're, and so, so you're offering services to the community. Right. But then you offer everyone a floater in its place. They can take their birthday off if they want, whatever. <coughs> I'm not aware of any negativity in terms of our response to the citizens. Well, oh, I, I think I think there are people that say, "Hey, I can't believe that town takes every Friday off." But Tim, and they have three-day weekend. Now, hey, I'm just telling you that yeah, is what I've been true. I'm no, telling you what I've been okay, okay, so, great. Think, okay, okay. Great. from the standpoint of people, there's always going to be negativity out there. We know who okay, they are. Okay, but how about half a day on Friday? We did that. Like we did that from eight to twelve on we Friday. Did that. Yeah, what, yeah, what, we what does that mean? I don't understand that. Well, that was we our old schedule. Was eight thirty to one. Yeah, and it was a. That changes like the whole world. Yeah, it was a very unproductive yeah. schedule with that. Honestly, people were standing around and nobody walked through that door. It was no really. for eight years. Yeah. So that's why we, we collected that. and so okay. and when and we I'm all for whatever we want to do. It means a lot. I mean, yeah. okay, I, I understand. And I support. Okay. We, we, we did a lot of research. It was a data-driven um, decision. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you from in a public annual works perspective, we like this building being closed on Friday because we do a lot of our work yeah, here um, on Friday when there's nobody here because putting up scaffolding in the I know, we're paying some I know that has we're nothing to do. I, I get the perception from the public that we're not open on Friday at Town Hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, for me, the 12 holidays versus the 13 really isn't a financial thing. It is the optics of being open. So I, I kind of mm -hmm. like Mike's suggestion of moving that to a floater right. and seeing how that works Which out. Which one is that? The Lincoln, Lincoln's okay. birthday because yeah. I just... They just make it President's Day, and it's on Washington's birthday. It's right, I mean, although the state does call it Brian, you birthday, you it is, it is that. President's Day. Yeah, well, I, don't, I, know, I don't know anybody that takes both those off in the state. Brian, you Very indicated few. that when we were open from 8, 8, 30 to, 8 to 11.30 on Friday, 30 to 1. you say productivity was impacted and people... Well, but that changed the whole work week, though. Yeah, it changed the entire about work changing week. changing all the hours, not no. just Friday. And it was. It was... It was an unproductive day, and we did do a lot of data-driven uh, data study on it. And for a $23 million collections, we had collected $70,000 worth of taxes on a Friday. It was like for the whole year. So we looked at trans tax, tax transactions, business that the people would come building to. Permits. Permits. Building permits. Building permits. Building permits. We looked at. So. Yeah. The only thing we so well, let's, let's, let's keep so it to the holiday schedule for now, then we yeah, can open up I the agree. discussion on Friday if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and amend my motion to modify the proposed schedule to remove Lincoln's birthday as an official holiday, modify Washington's birthday to President's Day, and provide our town employees with an additional floater for a total of 13 holidays. So they, they currently have four floaters, right? Is that, is that what I'm kind they of change well? every year, though. They Those floaters vary. change depending yeah. no, I'm just, on the I'm day just, of the week. To, yeah. the so holiday. this will probably look a little different next year yep. because of the day uh, that it falls on. Like this that. year, we only had but two yeah. floaters. Yeah, last year was only two floaters. So, and so if a holiday like yeah. the July 4th, Independence Day, falls on a Friday, yeah. it's, you're going to get a floater. Yeah. So uh, other, other years, it doesn't. Yeah. The fire department actually operates very much this way. Because we have to be open 24-7, I can't give yeah. everybody the holidays off. They basically only have four holidays a year. Yeah. We've got eight floaters for the fire department, basically. Yeah. Yeah. 
that way they can all, as you said, they can take their birthday okay. off, but on Columbus Day, Veterans Day, mm -hmm. Independence Day, we've still got to have crews in the station. Okay, I'll second your motion. Okay, any additional discussion? I'm all sorry. In favor? I wasn't. Aye. 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 I didn't mean to offend you. No, I think it's so. I just get I'm emotional. I'm no, <laughs> let me I'm talk just, about the people. This, is, this is an open discussion. I Absolutely. think these are healthy to discuss this. <laughs> Absolutely, I agree. Okay, and so you know, <coughs> I do want to mention on the on the Friday opening. I'm not an advocate of reopening on Friday, but I would like us at some point to get a discussion going on a virtual town hall. I've looked around. There's some software out there that allow town residents to do things like apply for building permits. Pay taxes online. I think it makes well, we have sense. all the taxes it's online. I right, don't think right. We do but building but there's there's like an employee directory. So like if Bud needs to send something out, and I've registered as a member of the cemetery commission, I would get just that cemetery commission communication. So there's there's some software out there that's okay. in the fifty to seventy thousand dollar realm. But mm. if it would deliver better services to our townspeople and and give you virtual town hall, so that. 8 o'clock at night, I want to file a permit to put an addition on my house. I can do it online okay. and get We've the process started. We've been trying to started. do that actually with um, land use, but there's, there's three or four back. companies out there that have yeah. stuff that we might want to just look at as we get yeah. into planning no, I agree for next with you. year to, to deliver better that. services Absolutely. and not really add to right. Labor costs. No, I definitely like the idea. Yeah. I love that idea, so. and we've been trying to push that, but there's been some pushback. Yeah, that's very productive. You know, we, we, we've made a point to improve the communications. I think we've been successful in terms of live stream. I mean, I even tried to create a way to be able to purchase cemetery uh, <laughs> plots online. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah. I couldn't get the ability to keep a, you know, a map that was current yeah. to the day was the biggest problem. You could set up the a link and you know make all the finances go through, but if somebody picks lot 742 and three days ago it was sold to somebody yeah, else, it then it creates. So that was really the only issue I have. Again, I, I, I mean, I, I think spent a whole half hour idea. researching it, so I'm not mm -hmm. ready to call myself an expert. Yeah. There's some <laughs> shit out there we ought to take a look at <laughs> and yeah. maybe open up town hall beyond the hours that we're physically here for residents Absolutely. that want to do. Th they want to, you know, they want to abide by the rules we have, but they can't find them. Don't know yep. how to follow them. It'd be great yeah. if we could open Let, up. Let's talk about that a minute in terms of the involvement that we had in town hall when it was up on a Friday. It wasn't much. We didn't have a lot of activity. You talked about seventy thousand dollars in terms of tax collections, yeah. but how about contractors? There's no. like seven so building permits. To the tip, but there are probably some little annoyances that probably could help work. But on they've adjusted it. Appears like, you can't get a burn permit on, on Fridays because right. we can't take cash at the firehouse. Right. But I'm thinking so I go to come here to get cash. I go to right. Cloders on a Saturday to buy a shed, and they say you need a building permit. How cool would it be if the guys at Cloders knew that we had a portal that would allow you to build, right. apply for the building permit while the I guys sell in the shed? That's a great idea. Yeah. So we're able to pick up on it right, right away and make sure it gets installed right. It's just it's it's just being no, right. Or you could get a burn permit online using your credit card. Right. Because a lot of people want to, you know, they want to abide by the rules we have. They yeah, want to do it right. They just that. can't find it. No. And I then they get that. mad. They get mad when we're knocking on doors. They're saying, why are you guys never open on a Friday? Like, yeah. They went once in the past four years, but never. Well, that's the point I'm trying to make. Exactly. And I think our data shows Figure that. It out. Okay. We initially had some comments from contractors, but we found out that people making the comments weren't even here on a Friday. Yeah, that's correct. Right? So yeah. That's but a good discussion, so thank you for all that, and thank you for the work. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Good, a lot of good work there, for sure. Thank you also, Kelly, I appreciate it. No problem. Uh, opportunity to add agenda items. Just an adjournment, that's the only thing I want to add. <laughs> <laughs> a sweater I've, got, I've got a recommendation for an executive session. I'll talk to the two of you about a subject that sure. just involves We can't do that us. now. We have to schedule that. Well, I could, it's sure. timely now, actually. As far as I'm concerned, can we do that? Um, I think we have to post that. Well, uh, uh, no, it depends on what. If you're if you're not talking about a person, I think we person. Yes. Yeah. No, so you just need. I think you need a two thirds vote. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I'm not gonna. I don't know. Huh. I'll make a motion that we go into executive session. Second. Okay. All in favor? Just I have to go offline here. So okay. I'll plug the microphone too, just for safety purposes.